Hello everybody and welcome back to Green River. Okay, so to begin with today we're going to have to step just slightly outside the realms of realism. Uh, well, maybe quite a long way outside the realms of realism. Because what I'm about to do is create a new field. We're basically going to convert a grass field into an arable field. But since we already have to drill it anyway, just the creating of the field uh, should be a fast job. So that is why I have bought this cultivator <laughs> which you're about to see it's pretty big okay it's 50 meters it's 50 meters in working width and when it folds up it's probably I don't know the size of a a small tower block I don't know maybe a large tower block I oh, know there it is <laughs> right so it is pretty big uh, this is just a one-off thing we're not gonna stick with these ridiculously large pieces of equipment you'll probably understand the reasons why in a minute but yeah it really is just to create the field just to convert it because Chainsaw's going to be drilling the field and he's going to be using a fairly ordinary sized machine still big but not unrealistic right okay so let's hope this tractor is capable I would imagine the creator of this has actually balanced everything out so it's not ridiculously heavy it probably is about the same mass as a standard sized cultivator it certainly isn't doing a wheelie yet, so that's a good sign. So yeah, we're basically going over to the unnumbered field. It is the grass field. Um, it's behind the big forest, and it just needs to be converted because we've already done the grass cutting, and I think once is enough. It gave us 1.1, we'll call it 1 million uh, litres of grass, which basically equates to about 1.8 million pounds worth. So, yes, it is time to convert it to an arable field so we can put in a different crop. Now of course to do this we've had to uh, enable a different mod as well. It is the cultivator to plow mod or something it's called. It basically allows you to use a cultivator as a plow so you can then create a field. As you can see in the in the options there when I've pressed F1 the menu has appeared. It says uh, press Y and you can allow create field. So we'll do that which is great. It's a good mod. It's from Mod Hub. Now Chainsaw is on the way. I thought I'd use this tractor because, what, too recent. It's a tractor which I like and I haven't really used it too much yet. But secondly, it's probably best if Chainsaw has the more modern tractor. I don't actually know what tractor it's bringing, but I'd imagine it's the case. Um, and also it's probably a higher horsepower. I have no idea how this is going to cope. But like I said, I'd imagine it's been fairly well balanced, so it's probably just going to act as if it's a small cultivator. We will see. Chainsaw usually takes a fairly good shortcut here. But I didn't really want to risk it with my tower block cultivator. Yes, there he is. Just approaching through the trees. He did take the shortcut. Now, from his point of view, you can see this on his video, of course. He has put a video on. The link is down below. Um, he's going to be able to see the whole cultivator. I can't without getting out. There it is. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, despite it being huge, it's still going to be several times up and down the field, I would imagine. Let's get it unfolded. Oh, don't want to go into the trees. Um, yeah, that's pretty good. Wow. Okay, so in theory, it should work straight away. It just depends where the field boundaries are. Because if I'm over a field boundary, it won't work. Okay, so it looks like uh, maybe we'll go here to begin with just to make sure that's working. I think, I don't know, maybe I should plot the field out. I oh, know, it should be fine. Yeah, it's fine. We'll just do this. Okay, so my camera is zoomed out as much as possible. It's actually still going off the screen. Uh, but you can't say it's not impressive. That is quite something. So, <laughs> Chainsaw has a gigantic seed drill there. And it's just this little speck on the, uh, well, on his left hand side. The left hand side doing the drilling. Looks good. This is a great conversion. Absolutely amazing. I really wouldn't want to do this with one of the smaller cultivators. So let's just have a think about this. What sort of size would it be? If we bought the largest one in game, it would probably be a disc harrow over a cultivator. Um, and what would it be? About 40% of this would it be? I don't know. It wouldn't be too bad. But I don't think it'd be half of this. 
this is extreme, 50 meters, as we know. Um, okay, well, let's just continue, and we will see how long this takes. I really don't think it'll take too long at all. I'm actually going up there quite nicely. I don't want to do that, because that's going to make it impossible for the drill. It is surprisingly difficult to control. Anyway, yes, let us finish. I've been feeling so small Watched the clock ticking off the wall But tonight I'm letting it go Spend my coin for sure I'm gonna be myself Or I could be someone else No one's stopping me now I'm gonna skip my breaks I'm gonna make Well, there we go. There's just a tiny bit left to clear up. Oh, need to watch my uh, cultivator. It's <laughs> got the potential to uh, completely knock over another tractor. Yeah, so I'll just tidy things up and then I'll go back over to the farm and I'll pick up a drill as well. Yeah, so if only we had a 50 meter C drill, that'd be great. I'll be honest, although I do find it very unrealistic, I do quite enjoy using these just as a, a one off. I think I get pretty bored of them if we're using these in every episode. But as a one-off, they're pretty good. And they do have their uses, like today, converting a field. It would just be a painful job, because you'd have to plough it or cultivate it, and then you have to go over the same field again to put the, the crop in. So just converting it like this is good. Also, I think uh, where I've got up the bank over there, under those trees, I'm going to use the landscaping tool just to uh, neaten it up. It doesn't look very good. I don't like it, so... Yeah. We'll just put a bit of grass back there. Right, so I think we're done. Let's just watch that fold up. Can you imagine how much hydraulic oil you would have to have to lift that up? The size of those hydraulic rams. They must be huge. Anyway, let's go into here. We're going to landscaping. And we will take a quick look at... Let's just spin around. This bank over here. Yeah, I don't know if you'll let me actually. That's annoying. Oh, there we go. Just want to neaten it up a bit. Oh, not like that. I've made a bigger mess. Well, it's okay. It looks better than it did before from above. Which go up. Kind of. Right, so you can see how much progress Chainsaw's made. I didn't realise we were so close to the uh, the water here. Yep, so we'll uh, we'll take this back over to the farm. Or we'll, we'll take it back over to the cell point. I can't really keep this. It's just huge. Um, and we will uh, return with another seed drill. What is he putting in? I don't actually know what crop he's putting in. Soybeans at a guess. That's what I would put in. Uh, do we think alike? We do think alike. That's interesting. I had no idea what he was putting in. I can't even begin to imagine how unstable this would be in real life. The tractor would be continuously on its side. They'd have to fit sort of like stabilizing wheels to the side of the tractor. It would be probably impossible. <laughs> but it, it's such an interesting thing in the game. And the, uh, from what I can remember, these oversized mods have been around since pretty much the beginning. Certainly in FS09. I'm not too sure about 08. But yeah, I've been playing since the start and I have remembered these for years. Okay, so we're back in the yard. We've just jumped into the other Rava that we have. And we do have another seed drill. This one in here. It's the Pronto. So we'll get that fitted. Uh, we don't need to refill it because I think Chainsaw's going to be doing pretty well anyway. He's got a huge drill. So anything which this can do is just a bonus, really. I must make sure I change the crop type to soybeans. Otherwise, <laughs> yeah, it would be a bit of a, a mixed up field having different crops in it. And we can now head off to the field to, uh, well, I would imagine, finish off. Especially with the speed this does. We're only doing 16 miles per hour, so it would take me a bit of time just to get there.
Okay, so sometime later I have arrived at the field and he's probably just finishing off. Uh, let's see how much there actually is left. Is he just... Oh, I think he might just be finishing off. Oh no, he's got a bit left to do. Okay, so I'll just uh, keep going until it's done. But really, there isn't much and I'm driving on what he's already done. Ah, there you go. You can really see where he has and hasn't been. Well, it's something. It's going to help a bit. So I think really this series is uh, very successful. It all started with Lone Oak. Uh, Lone Oak was very successful. So we transferred the money and the animals across and now we've just sort of built up from that. We're in a fairly good place. So whenever we do change the map again, I don't know when it will be, because I don't think there's anything really suitable at the moment for us to move to. Um, but when we do, we'll, we'll move all this with us again, the money and the animals, and we'll continue on the new map. But just thinking about it, I don't think there's anything. But one thing which I did notice in the uh, mods in testing list was Purbeck Valley Farm. Now that's a map which I did a first video on a while ago now, and it's by Tomex55. It's a map which I absolutely love. Um, Knaveswell Farm is very similar. It must be the same map. Uh, it just says it in the list, so it must be the same one which I've done a first look on. If it is, then I'm super excited about that because that is such a good map. I, I just can't wait for it. So, yes, let's hope it passes because it really deserves to. I would love to do a series on that. Okay, I'm going to spin around here because Chainsaw will be heading back down here anyway. And I'll just keep filling in this gap here. Car. Okay, so there we go. The field is done. So that is a super quick conversion and turnaround. We have gone from a grass field to a drilled soybean field in the space of about, would it be about 40 minutes? I'm not too sure. It's not much. Half an hour to 40 minutes. Very good. Very impressive. So we can now leave this field because it's even been fertilised as well. The drills have fertilizers have gone, at least mine did. I would imagine the one did as well. Yeah, it did, good. So, uh, yeah, that's a very good field. It's huge. So, when it comes to harvesting this, we use two combine harvesters. We'll park several trailers at the side and we'll just get it done. And I would imagine we're going to make an absolute fortune from this, just as we made a fortune from the grass, but even less work. That grass was uh, pretty tough because we had to take it all the way to the BGA, then we had to ferment it, then we had to sell it. The whole process took many hours of, of real time. So, um, yes, yeah, so you can't really complain though. It, it, we made almost £2 million. Pounds. Crazy tailgaters. Look at that uneconomical driving, accelerating and braking continuously. Ugh. Right, okay, so here we are. <laughs> we're back over at the farm. Uh, we'll put this back in the shed, I'll keep this attached to it. It's a brilliant tractor. Oh, better make sure the moustache goes under. There we go. Oh, I have crashed into the back wall. Right, okay, so let's take a look at this field over here. This is the field of oats, and yep, this field is the same crop as that field there. After all, this field, well, this piece of the field here was originally that anyway, so I've just taken a section off and we've put in the agroforestry. So, is agroforestry like this worth doing in real life? There are a few farms, even in the UK, which do agroforestry. I don't think there's many, but would it be viable for all farms in the UK to do it, or any country for that matter? Would it work on a large scale? I don't know. I really don't know. Would it be beneficial? 
Okay, so Chainsaw is in the field, as you can see, he's got the class combine on the go. I'm going to be jumping into the uh, New Holland most likely, but because it is no field and it will be completely fertilised, I'm sure. Must be. Yes, it is. Although this, this smaller one isn't. Um, it means we're going to be filling up those combines very quickly. So I'm going to have to uh, get some trailers on the go. Where's the cab gone for that one? I'm sure we still have it. There it is. It's on the tanker. Right. Yeah, I do like the Tatra, although the Tatra is much more unstable than the MAN. And the steering is very unresponsive with this trailer. Especially when it's full. Um, so, yeah, we'll just go and put a trailer at the side of the field. We'll take both, I would imagine. Put them in different areas so that he can unload when he's nearby to one. Uh, that's not going to make it. That is not going to make it. There we go. Yeah, so yeah, we'll just keep them both in further. I might as well just take both the lorries. His first load it won't be too far off. Whoa, he's, he's put his header trailer right in the gateway. Almost smashed into it. Uh, we'll go through here. I have smashed into it. Okay. Let's go over here. I don't know if we should row the straw later when it's all done. Maybe we should row the straw into, well, basically taking two into one. Probably would speed things up. Um, how full is he? Not very. So I'll put this first trailer. I might as well go up the road. First trailer can go pretty much at the top of here. Put it in here. And the second trailer can go probably near the agroforestry. I probably should have put the yellow tractor unit on the yellow trailer. But it doesn't really make a difference, just mixing things up a bit. Yeah, this one should be fine about here, because yeah, that's gonna be enough. Make sure we're a long way in. Over there. Good. So do we still have the header for the agroforestry field? Yes, we do. I will get that attached to the new Holland. I'll do the small field. Mostly because I have to uh, look after the trailers as well. But we can't use the standard new Holland header. We have to pull this one out the nettles. Hopefully it will fit to the weight. Yep, that's good. But this is a pretty good header. It's a Draper Stream. Let's lift that weight up. Just put it as close to the fence as possible. Give myself a bit of space, and we'll bring the header over, the combine over, and we will cut this, and it really won't take too long. I've had this New Holland Combine, I think, pretty much since the start of the series. But I've only used it a few times. I did use it in the field over there, over in that direction. Before a worker took over. But anyway, I think this field will have to be chopped. It'll be a bit awkward doing the bailing in here. Which, again, is a, a disadvantage of agroforestry, but it is possible to bail it. Just a little bit more awkward. Yeah, I like the header trailers that fold into the header. It's a good design. Okay, right. Well, without any further ado, let's get this done. Cause it will rig 
finished so I think uh, I made a mistake with the uh, the drill I used a diode drill which means that if I wasn't perfectly straight when drilling it would actually encroach into the grass area and it would drill the grass area so it's made them bigger which is unfortunate because it means now it's too big for the uh, the header which we have here the other issue was this header in particular because when you lower it you can see how slow it lowers still lowering, it doesn't work until it's all the way down, still lowering so I was having to wait about 15 seconds for it to go, it's still going and now we can harvest, so yeah, I'm not too sure why it's so slow on this machine but it works, just got to take a bit of time anyway, let's just unload Okay, so Chainsaw has got to the other lorry over there. He's harvesting the top piece. I think I'll stick this on a worker and we'll do this piece here. I will probably have to go and unload a trailer. Right then, so we've got the bigger header back. Which will be much more appropriate for this field. And the combine is rolling. So, let's jump into this lorry over here. I can now cart alongside. And really, with both those combines on the go, we should be quite close to completion. Especially as it looks like that upper piece is finished. Pretty much. Right, okay, so we're just finishing off. Uh, as you saw, I sold one trailer load already. Got about £28,000 for it, pretty good. Uh, and then we have this one, which is the main trailer. But we have this annoying strip left. But I'll unload on the move. It's probably quite full. It's only just in reaching distance. Look at that. So close. get too close it says that you're in the way but this is going to grain X that's the best sell point so we'll head over there in a second and sell the final bit chainsaw is already packed up but he's probably gonna come back with a baler I would imagine maybe this will be the occasion where we can uh, fill the barn we're still trying to fill the straw barn it's got a capacity of about four or five hundred bales so we're not too far off. We have about 220 in there. Right, okay. Finished. Let's go. 60,000 litres, that's probably about £60,000, maybe £70,000. It won't be bad though. 
a good figure. Okay, so here we are. Yeah, I'm putting an estimation down of so wait, well, yeah, sixty to seventy thousand. Probably close to seventy. We will see. Anything above us? No good, because usually I tip the trailer underneath something and then everything goes crazy. Uh, 95,000. Very good. Much better than anticipated. I'm very pleased. Okay, so we're back at the farm. Chainsaw's just finishing the packing up of things, as you can see. And we are going to conclude the video here. So, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video, and until next time, see you again soon. Bye for now.